Hello friends and welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would pick up my camera this weekend and vlog because we've got a nice weekend planned. Um, I'm definitely not going to be doing a vlogmas this year, not that I have ever done it, but I thought I would throw in a couple of vlogs here and there in the run up to Christmas because I just love watching a festive vlog. So I know most of you are here for the fashion content, but hopefully you enjoy um, this kind of video as well. Um, but tomorrow we are going to a farm shop I've been wanting to go to for a while. Um, I think we're gonna get some lunch and probably just have a look at the Christmas bits. And then on Sunday, we are going to make a big old roast and put up the tree, which I am very excited about. Um, normally I'm feeling more festive by this point and I'm actually not like really in the spirit yet but I'm sure once we get um, a Spotify playlist on on Sunday I will be well and truly there. Um, but to start off with, I actually have a loungewear haul to show you. Loungewear is actually one of my favourite things to buy. There is literally nothing I love more than a new matching set. Uh, there's also some really good gift ideas in here as well um, and it's all from Gilly Hicks who are a brand I absolutely love working with and I have to say this is by far my favourite haul I have done from them yet. Um, so yeah, we'll start off actually with what I am wearing today. Um, I will pop in some little cutaways over the top um, but yeah, this is the cutest little three-piece set. Um, I also picked it up in another colour as well. So you can get a cardigan and then there is a little matching bralette um, and then some wide leg trousers. And um, so I picked up the grey and then this gorgeous like taupey beigey mall shade as well. Um, it's literally the softest material. I am always blown away by how soft Gilly Hicks pieces are. Like everything is always like surprisingly soft. Um, and these aren't any exception. Um, so these trousers, like I said, they are a wider leg and then they've just got a little slit at the bottom. Um, and they're like the perfect length to wear with trainers or I've been wearing the gray ones with my ultra mini Uggs. And then the cardigan is just a really simple shape. Um, it's just a v-neck with three little buttons down the front. And I just think that set would make such a nice gift uh, either for someone else or for yourself. I feel like this is a really nice working from home set and um, still makes you feel put together but obviously super cozy as well um, and then another little set I picked up is this one um, so again there are a few different items that you can mix and match um, but I went for this little grey bralette and then I picked up the leggings and also the shorts um, again, super, super soft, and this set I just feel like would be the perfect cozy Friday night in outfit. Um, I'd definitely throw on a big chunky cardigan over the top, and yeah, you're just super, super snug. Just had to change my camera battery there, but I was up to the matching shorts. Um, now these really remind me of a certain other brand who do something very similar to this but they are definitely a lot more expensive and um, so I would 100% recommend this set. I feel like those shorts with the little matching bralette would make the perfect stocking filler um, either for your sister, your daughter, your niece, anyone like that. I feel like that would be the nicest little set to open up on Christmas Day. And then I also picked up a pair of PJs. These came in a few different colours but I went for the classic red, green and white combination. Um, these again are just so incredibly soft and um, I actually think I am going to save them to wear on Christmas Eve because I feel like they are the perfect and really the only option to wear on Christmas Eve. Um, like how festive and lovely are those. Um, they're like a flannel material but yeah just super super soft. Drawstring waist and then the matching shirt. 
so yeah the shirt is also a really classic shape with like little beigey buttons running down the front um, again in that gorgeous brushed flannel material and then for ultra cozy vibes i did pick up a few of the like shearling pieces as well um first up is this cute little cropped um hoodie um this again i mean i feel like a broken record but it is literally so soft and what i hate is when you get something like this and it isn't as soft on the inside as it is on the outside um, but as you can see it is the same material on the inside so so unbelievably cozy um, now this i think i would wear around the house but i was also thinking you could style this up for like day to day uh, maybe with some black leggings and my ultra mini uggs like my chestnut ones i feel like that would be the perfect combo um, and then i probably just throw a puffer coat over the top and um, so yeah i'll style that up for the cutaways so you can see how it looks but it does also have a pair of matching joggers um, these are literally like ultimate teddy bear vibes um, they have the cuffed bottom so they're like a true jogger style um, I definitely wouldn't wear these ones out they are 100% more of a round the house kind of piece for me but I think as a at home loungewear set you literally cannot get any more snuggly and cozy than that I literally could not resist picking Aiden up a matching fleece um, let's see if I can try and rope him in to doing a cutaway. I feel like it's going to be a firm no, but I will try my very best. So yeah, they do matching menswear pieces in the same fabric. So I went for this half zip fleece. Um, although to be honest, I would definitely wear this one myself. Um, I got this in a large for him, but maybe in a size medium. I feel like that would be super snug. Um, so if you are thinking about gifts for your boyfriend or your husband, your brother, or any other men in your life, then I feel like this would be a really fun one. They also do little dog jumpers. So obviously I had to pick one up for Wally. Um, I did go for the extra small, but looking at it, I do think it's going to be a little bit too tight. So I'll have to see if I can get that on him. Um, but how <laughs> adorable are the ears? Like, oh my God, that is just the cutest thing. Um, and it's the exact same fluffy material as the um, other bits. And you've also got a little hole for a lead as well, which is handy. So as expected, it is a little bit too tight around his chest. And he is definitely sulking with me right now, aren't you? But you do look absolutely adorable, I must say. You are the most handsome and precious boy in the whole world. Um, but yeah, I would say if you have a medium-sized <laughs> miniature sausage dog, then I would go for the small over the extra small. Um, but I do feel like it was worth it for <laughs> this shot alone because that is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. I need to go and grab my phone and get a picture of that. And then I couldn't do a Gilly Hicks order without picking up at least one piece from the ribbed seamless range. Um, the lining of these pieces is like the most buttery, soft material. And these are honestly just the comfiest bras ever. Um, they are literally all I want to wear day to day. Um, so I picked up a multi-pack this time. So you get the white one and then the black one. And they're just a typical racer back style. Um, work under loads of different things. And like underneath knitwear, these are absolutely perfect. Um, so again, I think this would make such a good stocking filler. Um, you could definitely divide the pack into two and you've got two gifts sorted. Um, but to be honest, I just like to have a few of these on rotation anyway because they are literally all I am reaching for at the minute. Um, so yeah, those are all the pieces I picked up from Gilly Hicks. I really do think that was a successful haul and I am so happy with everything. Um, so yeah, all the pieces will be linked down in the description box. Um, with all my sizes because I don't think I mentioned with anything. So Aiden has just finished work and we are about to nip out to Waitrose for some Friday night supplies. Um, we actually need to be quite quick because the England game is on tonight. Um, but I just thought I would show you what I meant about styling up the Gilly Hicks hoodie for every day. Um, so I just popped on my Arquette 
puff a coat um, and then i feel like it goes so well with the chestnut uggs um super cozy vibes for a supermarket run it is literally the most gray and miserable saturday today but we have just pulled up in it's in top is that correct? Yeah, somewhere in Cheshire. In Cheshire. We've never been here before. Um, we've come to a farm shop, which I actually saw on Molly May's story like months ago. And I screenshotted it. I was like, we need to go here um, near a Christmas because I feel like it will be really festive. And it looks so fun. Um, it looks pretty big, actually. So, yeah, we're just going to go in. I'm absolutely starving. So, I hope they've got some nice bits to eat. Um, might get a mulled wine so yeah we'll see where the day takes us but yeah excited for some christmas festivities what about you are you feeling festive i'm just feeling so festive yeah you sound it uh, no i actually am looking forward to this and then we're gonna put the tree tomorrow aren't we so yeah that'll be nice yeah i'm hungry as well i'm hungry <laughs> spoke to you um sorry i couldn't really film any talking clips when we were out today but it was literally just so busy everywhere there um so there's just no way i could have done that uh, but hopefully the clips i got were okay and uh, we had such a nice day i would definitely recommend if anyone happens to live in the cheshire area um, but now i have just got ready because we are going back out actually we have a table booked at an italian just down the road um, so i've just freshened up my makeup um, honestly i forgot how difficult it is to get ready in the winter and um, if it wasn't for i've just bought some like studio lighting which is just blazing at my face right now um, but yeah if it wasn't for that i honestly don't know how i would do it um, but to be honest, today I'm just not feeling my best self. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night and I feel like you can definitely tell. But it's a very casual place so it really doesn't matter. Um, I actually used a different tongue on my hair today. Um, I used my um, Hot Tools one, which I've not used in ages. And I actually prefer how it's looking. I think I'm going to keep using this for a while. Um, normally I use one of the ones with the clamp, but this one's just like a wand. And I feel like it gives a bit more of like a wavy vibe. Um, it's also stayed in much better than my usual curls do. Um, they definitely stay in in the summer, but I think it's obviously like the wind and the weather, they just drop out. Thought I would just move you back to show you my outfit. I don't actually know if you can see me, um, but where we are going is very casual. So I am potentially a little bit overdressed, but I usually am, so yeah, what's new? Um, but my top is from Pretty Lavish. Um, it's got this cute little cutout detail here. Uh, I feel like this is a really good date night top because it's kind of dressy but not too dressy. Um, really nice quality and pretty comfortable too. Um, and then my jeans are H&M. My belt is my Celine belt. Um, I get asked all the time on Instagram which size I have. Um, this is the medium size so I will leave the one I have linked. Um, and then I've got some heeled boots on from Topshop, super old, but I know another story is do some similar. Um, and then my bag is this little shoulder bag from Charles and Keith, which I have been using non-stop at the minute.
is now a Sunday and this is actually the first time I have spoken to the camera today. Um, but as you will have probably just seen, we went for a really nice walk this morning. Um, so that was a really wholesome way to start a Sunday. Um, and then after that, we went for a big food shop because we're making a roast tonight. Um, we're doing like the full works. We've got pigs in blankets and everything. So I am very much looking forward to that. Um, Aiden is on roast duty because I cannot cook and he is really good. Um, so I am going to decorate the tree. We put that up this afternoon. Um, this one is from Balsam Hill. Uh, I don't actually think you can get this style anymore because I think I bought it on sale because they were discontinuing it. Um, but I would definitely recommend um, Balsam Hill for Christmas trees. They are so realistic. Um, I actually forgot how big this one was. Uh, I think it's seven foot, but it's like so wide at the bottom. It takes up like half of the room, um, but it's so, so nice. Like the lights are like the perfect color and it definitely looks realistic. Um, so yeah, we spent the afternoon putting that up and then I'm just about to get my decorations out to decorate. Um, I haven't actually bought many new ones this year. Uh, I think I got like a couple from H&M and then we also got a couple yesterday from the farm shop. Um, but I'm mostly just using last year's decorations. So I'll have to see what I've got. Um, but obviously I'm going like neutral, white, gold, a theme anyway. So it'll be all good, I am sure. So I was gonna say, this is the key to a good roast potato. <laughs> We've literally just opened it and there's nothing in there. <laughs> I actually thought when I picked it up off the shelf that it felt light. But what the hell? What are we going to do? We're just going to have to make it do. No! Yeah, I know. What is in it? Uh, I think it's like... Um... That is so disappointing. Like, what the hell? Quality control, m &S. like what is going on? So I am the biggest <laughs> Christmas film fan and normally I hate the new ones, but I watched this one last year. Um, it's a Netflix one and I think it might have come out last year, but it's got Nina Dobrev in it and it is so, so good. So I have just popped that on whilst I am decorating the tree. Uh, I'm like halfway through now, but yeah, it's such a good one if you are looking for a rom-com Christmas film. Okay, so this is what I am dealing with and we have absolutely loads. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go more minimal this year. So I reckon I'll only use like half of these. I'm definitely not going to use any of these like standard baubles here. Um, these are like my decorations for just like dotting around the flat. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're working with quite a few, so I'm excited. my god he has truly outdone himself here this looks incredible i cannot believe how much food we've got as well for two of us we're definitely gonna have to give wally his own portion because it's pretty mean if we don't to be fair but wow this looks insane my mouth is literally watering right now so the roast was absolutely 10 out of 10 and for pudding, we have a milk chocolate cookie. These are the m and ones that went viral on TikTok and we managed to get hold of them. And we kept looking every single time we went in and they finally had them and they were worth the wait. They are so good. And then I've got white chocolate ice cream and raspberries. So I actually didn't end up showing you the completed tree yesterday. I was literally so wiped out by nine o'clock. We watched the I'm a Celeb final and then just went straight to bed. Um, but here she is in all her glory. Um, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out this year. I feel like it looks so, so beautiful. And just coming in and switching on these lights this morning just made the whole flat feel 10 times cosier. 
Um, so yeah, as I said, I didn't really get any new ones this year, but I will try and leave um, any of the ones that are available linked. I know that these ones from the White Company, they tend to bring back every year. Um, and then these are the H&M ones, which I think should still be available. Um, but all of the other ones are pretty much from either the range or I think I have some from Wilco's as well. Um, these like burlap bows I bought off um, Amazon. It's just like ribbon that I tied up. And then, oh, this is my new little one that I got. <laughs> Hello, Wally. Um, yeah, this is the one I got from the farm shop. He's already started pulling the baubles off and trying to chew them. They are not yours. They aren't. Um, and then this is the one that Aiden went for, this cute little hedgehog. I'm still playing around with the setup everywhere else. But for now, I've just popped this little house which is a tea light holder. I need to locate my tea lights because I'm not sure where they are, um, but that looks quite cute. And then this tree as well. Um, these are both from Sostren Gren. And then I've just popped a holly branch and some leaves in this bottle. Um, I feel like that looks quite cute and festive. And then over here I have my tray, which I think was from H&M Home, but a good few years ago, um, with the White Company Winter Candle, which is just the scent of Christmas, if you ask me. Um, started burning that one last night. I need to get one of the big botanical ones. I had one of those last year, and it saw me right through December. Um, and then again, this is from Sostren Gren. Also just thought I would show you this that I got from Waitrose. Um, it was... 15 pounds and I actually bought one of these last year too because I've done a couple of wreath making classes in the past and I've kept the bases from them and um, so I just got one of these and then I used these like branches to create the wreath and um, so yeah just a handy tip if you do have any wreath bases then it's worth heading to Waitrose to pick one of these up and um, that's where I got the holly from that I stuck in the little vase over there but I am actually going to end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to this weekend. Um, it was such a nice and wholesome weekend. Literally my favourite kind. Um, it's so nice waking up feeling fresh on a Sunday, especially with all the Christmas festivities to come. It was nice to just have a really chilled weekend before the chaos. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll leave everything I have spoken about linked below, including the Gilly Hicks bit. Um, I've got the super cozy set on today and I am feeling so toasty and snug. Um, so definitely have a look on their website for any Christmas gifts because they've got so many good bits in at the minute. Um, but thank you again for watching um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!